There we could hear the unmistakable sound of a Morse code SOS message fading in and out of the interference. A ship in imminent distress and danger, and the possibility of other ships and search organisations hearing the message and racing to give assistance. The SOS signal is sent as three short, three long and three short signals, although they are often separated with a space between them to make the S, then the O and then the S. This is not the way they should be sent. They should be sent as one character. The full SOS message would consist of SOS sent three times, then the letters DE meaning from, and the call sign or identity of the ship. The location and other details of the emergency, such as whether it was on fire or sinking or whatever, would then be sent. Originally, the famous SOS signal actually came from Germany, being adopted as their distress message to be used from the 1st of April 1905, and then ultimately it was used internationally from the 1st of July 1908. However, its adoption was not immediate. Even when the Titanic was sinking in 1912, a mixture of the old CQD distress call which was introduced by the Marconi company and the newer internationally agreed SOS message were used. Although the SOS signal should be sent as a single character, the mnemonic SOS was soon adopted to help it to be remembered. Interestingly, SOS doesn't stand for anything, although many people thought it might mean save our ship or save our souls. Instead, the signal was adopted because it was simple and easy and wouldn't be confused with any other procedural Morse characters. Morse code is a fascinating subject and there's heaps more information about Morse and many other topics on our website. Head to the description area for the video for lots of extra information and links and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.